Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about computer applications. I'm going to go over what an application is and the different types of applications that are available on your device. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to know is that a computer application is software and to use this software you typically have to download it. Now this software performs specific tasks depending on what you need to do. So you may call an application an app if it's not as full featured or an application if it is full featured. And I'm going to go over what that means in just a little bit. Now the application that you download is going to run specifically for your operating system. So if I download an application on my Windows 10 PC, that same application may not be available on a, say, a new Mac device, or vice versa. So sticking with the theme of desktops, uh, desktop applications are typically larger than those of the mobile device. So if you are going to look at, say, a program like Microsoft Word, which is a word processor, Word is going to do a lot more than simple word processing. It's going to be able to do charts, tables, mail merges, and a variety of other different tasks. This is, again, known as a full-featured program because of the variety of tasks that it can complete. Now, Photoshop, web browsers, and games would be uh, more examples of this type of software. Now, let's go ahead and talk about desktop applications that may not be as full featured. You'll notice these are things like alarm clocks and calendar apps. The reason for this, they typically do one to two things, and if they perform those tasks correctly, then that's what they're designed for. And so you'll notice that the download times for these are a lot less, and typically uh, they are cheaper or free compared to the full featured program uh, applications. All right, now switching to take a look at mobile applications. These download on your smartphones or tablets, so they're made for any sort of computer that you have on the go. A couple examples of this application would be Gmail or Instagram, where typically if you're using any types of, or any of these two apps, they perform the tasks that they're meant to do, like send emails or post pictures. All right, so let's talk about installing applications on a desktop versus a mobile device. The first thing you need to know is desktop, typically with a full feature application, it's going to take a lot longer to download. Again, because these programs are larger and you can complete more tasks using them. For apps on a desktop, they're usually going to uh, take less time and you can download them from a third party or the developer's website. Now, for the mobile devices, you're going to notice that where you download from is specific to the device that you're using. Now, the App Store, which you'll find on any iPhone or iPad, is ran by Apple. And so you go in there and you basically find the app that you want and you download it. If you're using the Google Play Store, that would be on any Android device. So it doesn't matter if you're using a Samsung, an LG, or a Google phone. As long as it's running the operating system for Google Android, then you're going to use the Google Play Store. So again, the type of, uh, or the way that you download new applications depends on the type of operating system that you're running. So if this video has answered a few questions for you or it's help, helped you out at all, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comment section below and have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching.